House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy saying that he will push to investigate Hunter Biden's business dealings with China if Republicans take back the House in the midterms. Our next guest has written a new book that reports Chinese elites have paid $31 million to Hunter Biden and other Biden family members. Peter Schweizer, president of the Government Accountability Institute, author of Red Handed, How American Elites Get Rich Helping China Win. Peter, good morning. Welcome back. You wrote a piece for the New York Post. Here's the headline. Chinese elites paid some $31 million to Hunter and the Bidens. You went through five different deals. What were they? That's right, Bill. Uh, yeah, there were five different deals. There was a $20 million private equity deal uh, that was put together. There was a $5 million deal that was arranged, uh, and then a series of other deals. And what they all have in common, Bill, is that in each and every case, those deals were handled by a Chinese businessman who had links to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence, meaning the vice minister for state security and the former minister of state security. And so what that means, in, in short, is that what was initially a story of cronyism and corruption, we now have to recognize is a intelligence story. And it's not just a question of the Bidens getting rich. We have to start having the conversation and investigating whether the Biden family may indeed be compromised. Okay. Um, the chances of that happening right now are not great. Marsha Blackburn, Republican Tennessee, here's what she says. The AG should immediately appoint a special counsel to investigate Joe and Hunter Biden's business dealings with Communist China. Joe and Hunter have been long intertwined with Jay Beijing, profited off shady business deals with the CCP. We knew some of that before the election, but w w what does this mean, the way you lay it out here? What does it mean for Hunter Biden? What, what does it mean for Joe Biden? Uh, great question, Bill. Uh, we knew that there was a commercial tie in the past that Hunter Biden put it together. I first broke that story in 2018. What we now know are two separate strands that are critically important. Using the Hunter Biden laptop and using emails from a Gmail account of one of Hunter's business partners, he gave us access to the email account. We now know that those deals, every single deal that the Bidens got in China, came through an individual with links to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. We also so now know, Bill, that Hunter Biden did these deals, but the larger family benefited. We know that James Biden, Joe Biden's brother, got at least $2 million of that money from China. And we also now know that Hunter Biden was subsidizing his father's lifestyle. He was paying for his bills. He was paying for renovations on his home up in Delaware while Joe Biden was vice president of the United States. That's not only illegal, according to ethics laws, it also shows that Joe Biden Biden is now a beneficiary of the foreign dealings that Hunter Biden has had, and it's no longer, you know, good enough for him to say, well, I didn't have anything involved. He was a beneficiary. Okay, last question, Peter. If the Republicans win the House or the Senate or both, do you see this issue going anywhere? Because Hunter Biden and other, Biden, they can just stonewall Republicans and likely do it for years, right? Well, yeah, we, we know there's a grand jury that's been going on since 2018 that is still ongoing looking into this. Uh, if the Republicans retake the House, they certainly have subpoena power, uh, and they should subpoena the relevant people, including Hunter Biden and, and perhaps the president himself. Uh, they can fight it and resist it, but, you know, as I point out in the book, Bill, this is a bipartisan problem. We have to recognize China has a strategy of what they call elite capture. They give commercial deals to elites in the United States because they believe, and I think there's evidence to support it, that those elites end up going soft on China. So we have to get a handle on this. This isn't just a partisan issue. Peter, thanks for coming in. The book is called Red Handed. It's out right now. Peter Schweizer, thanks. From Tallahassee, nice to see you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.